Hey, Barry here. We've got a new instrument. This is the first one of this kind that I have made. This is an accounting uh, from Senegal in West Africa. This is my uh, take on it. It's a somewhat of a replica with a little bit uh, more interesting features, but it's still built exactly the same as they do in uh, have done in Africa. Uh, let me show you. This is neck is 49 inches long. It's pretty. It's a pretty long instrument, but you have to have that because this first string has to be 35, almost 35 inches long. Um, it's a three-stringed instrument. The strings are 60-pound fishing line. This is what they. Uh, usually string them out of all the same all the strings of the same gauge but just uh, shorter lengths and uh, we're using violin tuners on uh, the three different points there to keep it in tune they're friction violin tuners the gourd is a canteen it's 11 inches in diameter and about uh, three and a half four inches deep uh, the head is goat skin just like all my other banjos and the the bridge sits on top it's a thick bridge um, that's the way they made them from the information that I have the neck sits on top of the gourd it doesn't go through the neck or through the uh, gourd it sits in a little uh, crevice there a little u-shaped indentation that I put in there and uh, it's a pretty neat instrument. I don't know how to play one of these things, but uh, there's a lot of uh, YouTubes uh, available that you can watch, and uh, there's some that tell you how to tune them. There's a lot of theories. This particular one I tuned from some information that I had that was C, E, and F. Um, but there, I, I guess because it's a solo instrument, I don't know, you could probably maybe tune it in thirds and uh, come up with something. From what I've read also, the, the first and second, or the top two strings are drones, and you usually play the, uh, uh, the melody on this string. I don't know if this is t tight enough uh, from what I've seen seems like they this this is usually a f tuned a fifth above the middle one um, I don't know because I'm not an accounting player I just make them <laughs> I could I could probably learn how to do this and I may may go ahead and do that and do another one but I want to make this available there's a lot of different uh, there's a lot of folks out there that are that uh, enjoy these uh, unusual kind of instruments Again, the neck is curly maple. It has an oil finish on it. Uh, we've got the goat skin. It's got a uh, scotch guard on it. It's very tight, floating bridge. Kind of got a violin style button tailpiece here that uh, you can take a look at and see how thick that bridge is. There's no sound hole in this. Um, I looked around a lot, could not find a sound hole in any of the photographs of the uh, originals that uh, were on uh, Google and YouTube and things like that so I didn't put a, uh, a sound hole in there but anyway it's uh, I don't know I don't know how to play one anyway it's pretty cool it'll be on my website for sale and also on eBay so uh, keep in mind, take a look at it. Like I said, it's a really cool instrument. Make a fabulous wall hanger, if nothing else. Uh, but it's, it's certainly playable, and it's built to the specs of a lot of the information that I have received from Tony Pizzo down in Savannah, Georgia. He has quite a uh, library of resources for these instruments, and he was kind enough to share them with me. So uh, here's the Akonting, A-K-O-N-T-I-N-G. Look it up in uh, YouTube and Google it and everything. And uh, if you have an instrument, if you have a desire for this instrument, 
I've got one to sell you. Thanks for looking.